interesting. It's the, um, the it's at the end of the day Friday, and people are kind of calling in to the uh, one four six nine four repeater and kind of giving comments about uh, Dayton Hamvention uh, the first time at this new venue. Um, somebody called in and complained, which understandable. I mean, and then some people call, called back and and they didn't identify themselves and they were kind of snarky back but he basically said the obvious the obvious is that it's really hard to get to the hamvention it's hard to get there it's hard to get out of there because it is not accessible by car it just isn't you have to park wait for a bus as I, I show in the video get on the bus then you get dropped off then you have to wait for another another car to carry another 150 yards or so if it's okay but I mean, it's not the end of the world, but 45 minutes to get in and out, that's just a fact. It's just not built for the roads. But anyway, I'm here listening listening to people comment. I actually made a comment, too. I just said, uh, basically, that um, it's difficult to get in, but once you're in, I liked it. Somebody else commented that uh, there was nowhere, nowhere really to sit. Um, there's nowhere to sit and eat. When I realized, yeah, that's actually kind of true. So I, you end up just walking and walking. There's a few benches here and there, but there's not really a great place to sit, like a big, big area, like a covered area where you can have food and sit. And uh, there wasn't really that. There was just a, a, a grandstand, like a like an area over that racetrack. But anyway, it's real interesting listening to these people talk and give comments. One four six nine four zero in Dayton. Uh, 65 North has been really backed up. I decided not to go home tonight. I'm going to go tomorrow morning because of the rain. It slowed everything down, Friday traffic. Um, but I gave a compliment. I said, yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's hard to get in and out of there, but a lot of people are kerchunking ker the repeater. They're just hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and hitting it without saying anything. Um, but now the traffic's moving. That way's north. And that's the way I need to go. Let's see what this guy has to say. This, this is real interesting. Go ahead. That standing water down there, do you see it on the... It rained last night. It's been raining this afternoon. That standing water wasn't there yesterday. So whatever happened at Hambenshin is... Uh, some people got wet for sure. I'm, I'm sure the people outdoors got, got into a mud pit. Anyway, I will say... I was there about... Five hours. And there really wasn't a good place to sit. There wasn't really a good place to sit, and I got pretty exhausted. And I, I spent all my money, and I, f I don't feel the need to go a second day. I would argue that you only need to go one day, especially if it's hard to get in and out of it. So if you ever come to a big hamvention, one day is probably good enough. This is N1NCI. N1NCI? N1NCI. Why? I'm actually talking to the ABI. Just wanted to make a comment about how good the food was. It was a great food court, and you got a terrific variety of different That's what I said. I really liked that. They had food trucks there. Thank you for the comments. I, um, I have heard uh, several people say that. Uh, the variety is, is different from what we've had in the past. Um, it's really My cool. My personal favorite was the pork chop I had today. <laughs> he had a pork um, chop. Thank you for the comment. I had a ma well, I had a I meatloaf. I would like to add too. I was a little sad that there wasn't some kind of covered area where you could sit and drink a bottle of water or have a little snack. I know at Hera, it wasn't a great arena there, but you could go and sit for a while and you were covered and it was reasonably comfortable. But, um, I don't have uh, too many other comments. I, I thought it was a good convention, but 
but I do wish there were a covered area where you could have had. Yeah, a there was nowhere glass to sit really. You could, but you kind of had to. Start. There weren't enough benches, basically. I hate to say this, but I could have walked around and told them that. There was a covered area, like, much like a campground shelter, this, a very big shelter. It was too uh, small, though. What? It was too small. And um, uh, just right around the, in the food area, right in. I yeah, think it was. Right in front of it was full of people. It wasn't big enough. I, I understand you know, what you're saying, I but... I think I might even have eaten there myself. I think what I meant to say was an indoor covered, air-conditioned area. Uh, there were a lot of it outdoor was, spots. It was hot and sweaty, sweaty too. Um, not their fault, but there wasn't really an indoor area where you could cool off. I don't care. Um, it's just a, a criticism. food is not... Or food is not restricted from the foreign rooms, and f uh, the foreign forum rooms uh, are air conditioned. This guy has been taking a lot of abuse. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Over the I'll phone. That. So, <laughs> I feel um, sorry for him. On the whole, I guess. Um, He's got more patience than I do. Iron out a few kinks, and it'll end up being fine. So thank you very much. N1 NCY clear. And what was really he, interesting about that is that a lot of them faced the porta potties, which I thought made it uncomfortable both to go to the restroom and to eat or, or drink. He's saying also there was nowhere to sit. There was nowhere to sit and eat. Appreciate your comments. And again, uh, uh, if you'd like to go onto the website or I can give you the address, uh, uh, send us those comments. And, um, and, uh, and uh, let them know, and uh, we'll pass it on. Just set it on the website. Thank you very much. That Hamvention talk in WABI. Also, email your comments to chair. Stand by. That's chair. Charlie Hotel Alpha India Romeo at hamvention.org. ESW. I believe that's ESW. Uh, oh, Echo Sierra Whiskey. I uh, just wanted to pass on that um, this was my first hamvention. Uh, everything was wonderful. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there, obviously there's always growth pains, there's always hiccups. Um, and I think you guys did an excellent, wonderful job in the amount of time that you guys had to uh, make the transition over from error over to, to, to the uh, fairgrounds. Thank you very much. Uh, again, appreciate your comments. Um, uh, I know there are a lot of people that are, like to hear that. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep trying to do it better. My current knowledge is that, that uh, this is the first show and there will be two more shows uh, that are scheduled. So it will be uh, this year, next year, and the year after that. Is, uh, as far as I'm uh, aware. Okay, thank you. I mean, some other options, I don't know how, how this would be, but I don't know the facility well enough, but, you know, there is Nutter Arena, which is uh, in Beaver Creek in Greene County, which is a large place affiliated with Wright State University. It's a modern facility um, that has ample parking and is right off a couple of highways. Uh, you know, I know that maybe maybe that's not tenable to do on short notice, but uh, I just don't, you know, just from my perspective, you know, being almost a lifelong Ohioan and, and, and native of this place, I just never see this parking situation getting any better. I mean, Fairground Road is going to be a two-lane road forever. It's a quiet country county road. Um, you know, these 45-minute waits, hour-long waits to get into the place are... Um, you know, it is, it is pretty abysmal. 
Uh, I know that you guys are doing the best that you can, but I, I'm hoping that you guys do move it somewhere else. Again, thank you for your comments. Uh, and uh, if you, uh, I don't know, when I talked to you earlier, I didn't have the email address. If you want to send it, it's chair at uh, hamvention.org. I think maybe the uh, email or the web address is a better way to go. Thanks again. Again, you guys are the best that you can on short notice. No flies on you guys. The Arts Great Organization. It's just, uh, man, it, it really stinks to sit in the car for 45 minutes to an hour to drive five miles and have to turn around and go park at a, at a, at a, at a lot 10 miles away and take a bus in. It's just no fun. Do that. Thank you for the comment. Talking, WABI. Um, it's really interesting. I'm listening to the comment about Hamvention. WABI, James 1, Lima, November. I'm going to make a good video later. But right now, sorry for the one, Lima, November. Um, phone video. This is all I got. People are calling um, into the group. Hamvention talking, WABI. I'm so glad you brought this radio. Just what time you guys close uh, on tomorrow night, for instance? It's about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock? An hour earlier than tonight, so it'll be at 5 p.m. Too much, KB-101 out. And the buses will run an hour after that, uh, up until 6 p.m. And that's your talk in W-A-B-I. Kilo Delta 8, Yankee Papa Yankee. Uh, was there a KE-8 station? Kilo Delta 8, Yankee Papaz, Yankee. Like I've got uh, an Alpha Yankee. Uh, we'll try that. Is there, which one is the Alpha Yankee? Comment, and I'm making a video of it. They're commenting about... K. Y-P-Y. Did I get it right that time? Anyway, this is interesting because some people... You know what? Denmark. Eight. Or Yankee. Papa. Yankee. Roger. Kilo, Delta Eight. Yankee, Papa, Yankee. How about now? Doug, I'm just giving you stuff. I'm Joe. I just came in there. I was just left there. Uh, looks like two-way traffic out here. Everything seems to be moving pretty good. Just so you know, I'm in Dayton right now. Okay, I wondered about that. It did sound strangely familiar. All right, Joe, thanks a lot. Everybody can see it. You and I'll take a Yankee monitor. So Echo 8 Golf, uh, Charlie Yankee. I was a little bit closer. All right, uh, K-E-8 G-V-Y. Go ahead. This is the uh, W H B I. Your comments. I'm glad, ecstatic that it worked for you, but apparently it didn't work for everybody. But I'm glad it worked for you. I am kind of curious. Do you did you make note whether the McDonald's there was busy or were they having trouble with traffic there? Well, thank you. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad your first time was a good experience. Uh, I know uh, I've talked to hams all over the country that uh, you know dream about coming, and I'm I'm thrilled that your first experience was a good one. Uh, Victor Yankee, Hamvention Talk in WABI. Well, I want to thank you and the committee and everybody for doing a great job. Uh, it worked out real well. I liked uh, parking in the parking lot and have the school buses pick us up. I think that worked out real well. It did take, it did take a little bit of time to get there, but uh, I think no matter where we would parked, it would have been a while getting there because of all the traffic. So I think it worked out real well, and I enjoyed several of the forums very much. So thanks for a great day, and we'll be back tomorrow. 
Roger that. Question. Uh, well, they were school buses, so how was the fit? How was the what? Feel like you had enough leg room. We managed. It was tight, but uh, no problem. Glad to hear it. All right. Well, thanks very much, and um, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Very good. Well, I'm five foot ten, so if I was six foot six, I probably have a different opinion. Roger <laughs> that. Uh, well, then you're the same height as me. Uh, no, I was talking to somebody at lunch.